All right, guys, they're playing Aatrox top lane. Once again, a split two. This time we're playing Aatrox versus the champ that you got, you guys all hate. We're playing as Teemu top. And for the runes, we got uh, Conquer, Triumph, Haste. We got Last End, Overgrowth, and then specifically second win, Door and Shield combo. All right, I mean, we, we, uh, we're going to have a fun time. Aatrox into Teemu is actually very playable. It's a very good one. Specific, uh, specifically taken Haste for a reason here, too. So, the plan about this game is that we are going to let Aatrox, I mean, uh, Timo do his thing. When we hit level 3 and the wave will push into Timo, that's when we start playing aggressive. So, we're going to fully respect Timo right now. It's, Timo's level 2 is extremely powerful. Um, he got the push first, so we're avoiding him. If you can get level 2 first into Timo, you can get like a crazy lead early on, but... I must he took it way, like, long before I did. I have a fantastic build this game that I'm going to use into their team comp because they have, like, Akali mid, they have Teemo Tob. I'm thinking of going for Modest game. First also, Profane Hydra. Maybe Eclipse. An ally has been slain. Got it. I'm going to lose that last hit. I'm not even bothered too much. We have a jungle coming top, but might not be able to use my jungler right here. The wave is under my tower. I'm not going to leave my uh, wave behind. Couldn't get the wave with the auto reset. Got it. Okay, we are in a good position right now. Let's see if that Teemo comes back. He might be very scared for my jungle, so he might stay. Or he's done the recall and he might come back with more items. Either way, I have the push right now. What? Okay. Got the center. I'm going to ignite. Press my potion two. Got him. Yeah, this was the most unexpected like way of fighting because I actually came up with the idea of him coming from the river or he would go for a reset. I didn't think of the scenario where he would actually come out of the passive and then use the passive for more damage. That is really surprising to me. Okay. Now for the build, we are actually going for two items in specific. So what I want to do is either go Tiamat or Eclipse. I think for this game, I'm just going to go for Eclipse. And then after Eclipse, we will specifically build this item. Now what we can also do is we can go Profane Hydra and then build into this item. I think I will go for Eclipse first, and then we go into Maul, is what I'm thinking. That's like the most optimal build against Teemo. He will never beat you if you have that item combo. Never. He just doesn't stand the chance. Okay, once again, the wave is slow pushing towards me. Jungle is actually pathing top, I think. We'll see how that's going to go. I should be able to win. I got Flash Advantage. I believe he used Flash. I'm going to see if I can zone him out from the... This is worth for me. Because the wave is pushing in my direction. If we go for this fight, he will lose the full wave. Nice. He lost the full wave. Not exactly the, the most worth. He did lose the full wave, but it's at the cost of my HP. So we've got to be a little careful right now. Oh, I was actually going to E forward with my Yosem cooldown for like... A second longer, my bad. My bad. I've taken too much damage. We have to stay safe for a little bit. Oh, I'm glad that I have second wind Dorn Shield combo this game. And we also have my passive, so we'll, we'll make a comeback eventually, but it's going to take a little while. An ally has been slain. Got it. Alright, we're good. We got an XP lead against Teemo for obvious reasons. Because we were trading that for my HP before. So now we just have to stay very patient, wait for my HP to come back. Use my passive. 
and hopefully not get caught by a few more autos. If I can, you know, avoid getting autoed for the next like two minutes, I should be able to make a comeback into Teemo. Always use your E for like an auto attack reset, guys. I've been saying this a lot of times, but the amount of people I've seen playing H-Rocks and not using your E like that, it's crazy. A lot of people actually don't use it like that. They would just use it for positioning Q only, which is super surprising to me. We have the wave slow pushing right now. If we can get a reset, that will be worth a lot more than killing Teemo right now. So I'm prioritizing the push here a lot more than actually looking for kills at the moment. Just gonna get away from this. Hmm. He's up. Yeah. Man, this is such a worth risk. 100%. Because if we kill the team mom. I'm gonna run for my life, I'm probably gonna ganked. If we kill that Teemo over there, the reason why I forced like that was for one reason only. I'm dead, yeah, I'm dead anyways. It was for only one reason. If I kill Teemo under tower, he will lose the full wave, okay? That's the only reason why I forced like that and I took a big risk for this. It's actually turning my whole lane around. It's very good for me. Um, we're just gonna go for more damage straight up i can go for mercs and have a fantastic time but if i rush eclipse i can snowball this lane super fast all right wave is uh, pushing towards me once again it would be very smart decision for my jungler if he was actually going to gank my lane but he's actually pathing bot lane the whole game Hold on, let's place a ward down. Seems like he put some strongest down as well to bait me, I suppose. Again, like you can you can make this laning phase like incredibly simple and easy and just go mercs. But that would be also be at the cost of like potentially not being able to snowball as hard as you normally would. So it's up to what whatever you want. Ooh decent i'm trying to thin out the wave because the wave is too massive of course i missed these two i've to be honest i've been losing way too much farm because of teemo at this point but unfortunate i need to have like 400 more i can actually all in teemo right now i've i've got like level eight he's level seven i should be able to win oh he messed up big time Oh, he's walking to that direction. Got him. Yeah, I tried dodging my uh, my Q, and I have my item right now. This guy's ignite, so I should be able to stay for at least one plate. Very nice. I'm pushing an extra two, same with like the other. He's uh, walking back to lane right now. I should have the time to do this. Yeah. Now we reset as fast as possible, but we're gonna buy Eclipse. Eclipse is super nice here because it gives us the, the raw damage, the ability haste, and most importantly, it provides us the shield. So we can do the combo and gain the shield every single time. So our short trades, they should be better than Teemo right now. Also, my alt lane should be better than Teemo as well. Now we just need to get my mercs as fast as possible. And that's it. I'm looking forward to buying specifically this item because that's going to make such a big difference. I'll end up pushing this out. Timo will come back for me. I think he's roaming or trying to roam at least. I don't see the the bell fat anywhere currently right run for my life I'm glad i pushed this 
I actually troll myself. <laughs> this is worth for me. The wave went down on our tower. He didn't get a single last hit for that. I also got... Um, I also got that plate over there. Of course, I have to walk into shrooms. I think that Belfet could still be top, but I... I'll just have to wait like 20 seconds. The most annoying thing about Teemo is that he's got like shrooms all over the lane. Super annoying to play against. You can technically counter with Rachenko. But we don't have this yet. We have the yellow trinket now. We'll change we'll change in a bit. I think that Belfast is probably gone right now. I don't think he's here anymore. Wait, so useful for my passive. Got my passive ready. Belfet's going to showing him bot lane. That's good. And he flashes instant. All right. Yeah, that's where my, that's where my item procs. So that's why, you know, I can I can hit my shield. Uh, I can hit my combo for my shield and win every single trade the exact same way. Look. Got you, bro. Now we push. Again, using E for like an auto-attack reset, I do this literally all the time. Try and get another plate because it's 13 minutes 18 in the game. Whoops. Got everything? Just got the entire thing. Well, they're most of them are mid. Their bot lane uh, are currently missing two, but I don't think they're going top lane. Very nice, man. We have 2.3k. We have a choice to make now. We can, we can actually overstay because the Drake just went down. That's an option we have. I'll run. I think I might probably end up like farming for my item instead of backing. Serious? I missed this. Wow. Kidding? <laughs> I missed that opportunity. That's unfortunate. You guys did not see that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no worries. I should have I should have done that differently. We're good to go. Uh, I'll just push this way out, then we're happy. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back now, and not push because Timo put shrooms down, and I don't have proper vision. <clears throat> Very nice. The uh, next item that I'm building is a little situational. So we could go into Profane Hydra right now, which I'm probably I'm probably going to end up building this. We can also go into Sunward Sky. Um, or that stance, but I don't think we're going to go with that stance. Might go Profane Hydra for more damage. A lot more damage, actually. Uh, Belfast is top, but he's walking away. Let's place a ward down just to be sure there's actually a country ward. This guy probably doesn't have flash. Oh, I walked through a shroom as I ult. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, that's what I talk about before. Those shrooms are very annoying. Am I getting ganked by uh, Belfast? Right, I am. Uh, whoops. Put a point to my W accidentally. Uh, 
Got them both. Put a point to my W by accident right now. Welcome to the life of Aatrox, guys. This is it. This is it, bro. One versus three. <laughs> nice combo. Eclipse and the uh, multi memorials. Is this this build is broken, man? This build is absolutely broken. We can buy Profen Hydra over like 600 away. Good. Um, let's go for more damage, shall we? Got my Mercs now. Good for Teemo, good for Kali. I don't have a lot of armor this game. Actually, I got no armor at all, but that's fine. As you can see, we don't struggle with Belfeth right now. See if I can push mid, then we push top again. Drake spawns in 1 min 20. We need to secure the Drake. Have to. We are the stronger team at the moment, if I'm there. So, uh, in order to prepare Drake in one min, I want to push top all the way out to Tirtor Tower and then rotate when I push the last one and then uh, then we try and win 5 against 4. That's my plan. Whoops. Okay, we quickly take the next wave. We have 40 seconds before the Drake spawns. So we should have a little more, more time left for the next wave. Then we instantly go through the jungle. Actually got my teammates dying right before the dragon, which is super bad for us. So I might not be able to make the difference anymore. Maybe we can, actually, because I'm way stronger than the enemy team. Maybe we can do like a 2 versus 4 play. Right. Oh, you actually went to the right side. Oh. Okay. Told you. Teemo top lane, we win. Literally the best play you can make in the game. When you play top lane, guys, and you push, Top lane out entirely to like tier to tower. Your opponents cannot move because you will lose like a full wave. And you win. Like Teemo was in top lane right now the whole time. Because of that play we made earlier. Like how nice is that man? Force Teemo to be top lane. He wasn't even part of the fight anymore. We just rotate and we win. Despite being outnumbered, we are stronger than the enemy team, so you can basically you can basically see us as like more than one person. We are way stronger. We can actually one for two very easily. Maybe even one versus three. We are super strong at the moment. So we can afford to like miss one guy if a Drake spawns. There's no jungle camp anymore. I actually want to try to split push bot lane I don't think that I can change him he's taking red buff right he apparently had vision so auction can go top if he wants and farm there Uh, Belfit's going back in jungle. I'm going to see if I can follow him.
You disguise putting me out to the test, bro. <laughs> He's not gonna beat me. Never. I don't think... Oh, Akali is still in bot lane, apparently. She's trying to uh, disengage, but she can't. Nice. Uh, one guy needs to go back to mid lane. I'll take the wave that's about to arrive. I think that Belfort... Uh, like, uh, Pike does... Like, Pike has no interest in fighting me. If he actually all-ins me, he often... He either all-ins me because there's someone, like, following him, or he all-ins me because, like, he's just doing, like... Troll stuff. It, he's, he's playing like a Shaco. Yeah. Oh, he missed it. I need dead stuns, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna buy death stance for sure, like, no doubt. <laughs> death stance, here I come. More damage. We are living into ability haste this game, bro. We have so much ability haste already. That's the nicest thing about this build. You have way too much ability haste. Your, your E is like... Little to no cooldown in the late game. They're doing it. Surprised they actually managed to get it. Could maybe prevent them from getting back to lane. Flash again? Oh, okay. Would have been pretty cool if I actually got him, you know? I'm getting blinded so I can... Eh. I, uh, I actually keep on failing to like beat this team off. He always gets away. He gets away very consistently. Let's go. The shroom placements and all that stuff and his blind are working out. Like, I'm not killing him. I'm actually walking to his shroom every time. Not a flash by the enemy team. I think that my jungle probably has. I'm gonna move from the left side. Yeah. Let's go. We need to get to that dragon as fast as possible. I think we can probably get it. They're overextending in bot lane. Your turret has been destroyed. Enemy killing spree. You got to be serious, right? We're not getting anything here. That's like uh That's so disappointing. I left my jungler behind for this play right here. Kidding me, dudes. Uh, I I actually regret my own decision right there. Whatever. I need like a hundred more. Super hard game, in my opinion. I hope that Akshan is gonna make it to the late game. Oxhan is really, like, really, really far behind. We have four items. We need, like, one more item. And I think that's going to be a Shoujin. Oh, 
I'm just gonna go in because I'm stronger, way stronger. Uh, Blitz has never hit the Q in, in as far as I've seen before. Zonia. I did hit. Good. Nice. We're uh, we're turning this stuff around. That's great. <laughs> this bike sound is so annoying. <laughs> he doesn't do anything though. Wow, wow. Huh. Goodbye, dude. Yeah, that, that pike is just there to exist, in my opinion. Oh, <laughs> he nearly beat himself. If he actually took that one, I, I would have beaten him, bro. I would have straight up hit my Q and my uh, Profen Hydra. I would have come back on this. Guess it might be stolen. Or not. Not yet. Yeah, that, that pike is so annoying, man. <laughs> wow, that pike actually hit the... Another one. 2.7k, I can nearly buy the Shoujin. Need a bit more. Sundered Sky would also be very nice. Wow. Serious. Oh, wow. Okay. They have a lot of Zonia and Flash. Um, I think I may not... I may actually not go for Shoujin at the very end. I may actually go for Sundered Sky at the end. I can probably use this more than 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 Shoujin currently. I, I, Shoujin would be Your quite nice though. I'm going for Sunroot Sky. The uh, Shoujin will eventually replace my boots, but Sunroot Sky is definitely a, a better option in my opinion. I'm gonna run mid lane, uh, mid lane again. Let's go. Look at my E cooldown right now. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. It's gonna be a team fight. Should be a winnable team fight. Felt my flash. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother like chasing the pike down. I don't care that much. Wow, he's going for that, man. Oof. We can't go Baron right now, but like, I want to see how far we can get. You know? In my opinion, like, this is actually Baron call right here, but... Let's just see how far we can get.
Don't you? Well, there you go. No Baron needed. We just finished the game. Yo, this is Aatrox top lane. Thank you so much for watching today's Aatrox video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.